roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the 5. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up dak swinging this out quickly the ram seven yards there at a first down the Cowboys at 5-1 and one here in this early part of the season. They're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Elliott going to get it again on second down. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 34. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Prescott. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A man is caught at the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Elliott will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week and hits pay dirt for a third time here. And with good help, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders in touchdown score when this season comes to an end. Quick right your Is it bad enough to touch him with a sports stick? Not at all. I mean, that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. with it looking to pass he's airing it out for Williams it's caught inside the 25 touchdown Detroit 
tried. Jamison Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on second and long. Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage out of That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all his keys perfectly. He got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing. Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Here's Cyber now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. offense here set to begin the drive now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around yeah, and sometimes partner i think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field you're not over on the sidelines to run for it for very long you're not hearing everyone say oh, hey you'll get them next time hey don't worry about it all that stuff just goes right out the window you're right back out on the field with a chance to atone on second down, it's Pollard. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 47. 46, 46. Prescott. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. And just like he did almost winning the Heisman at Michigan, rookie Aiden Hutchinson blows up the play. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. The first down carry by Elliott. He stiff arms him. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Mark and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week, and in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Play action, it's Herbert. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Really hard to imagine a quarterback like this being available in a trade. What an impact he's going to have. No doubt about it. And all teams are looking for leadership from that spot. And this guy provides it. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Touchdown, Detroit! Jamison Williams, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Lions are in for six. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. And we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 42 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this one is incomplete. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Quickly to the outside, that's caught by Lamb. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Play action. Prescott. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. You don't see this off to the quarterback of his caliber. Two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense.
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Herbert now got his target. That's Kohler. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first and 10, Herbert. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. To try again after the sack. Herbert. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waiting moments of quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. Seibert's kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington, where we rejoin Brandon and Char. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Set. 
On first down, it's Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. And the Cowboys are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. The last run got six, now second and four. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Even with a guy like Zeke Elliott in the backfield, Dallas simply couldn't keep Pollard off the field last season. The third year back was just too good to see, and he ended up with over 700 yards on just 130 carries. Elliott running right. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Again, it's Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. So they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. Yeah, exactly. He's got a man complete. Jamison Williams, 72 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On second down, Elliott once more. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, he has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Tennis things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out.
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Herbert. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. And he is going to lose yardage here. And they're trying to catch him by surprise, I think, to another pass on third down, but no luck. But I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it an even 40-yard punt. Seven, though, on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. First down, Justin Herbert. And incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Herbert. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. The 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I mean, what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way. Makes a great play on the football and turns it into six. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Lions' 
offense ready to kick off their next drive. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit. Just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. On second down, Swift. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Second and six. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Sharks got it left side. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a give right side Swift. And down inside the 35 he goes to the 32-yard line. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth.
This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located. In different stadiums, it's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs him up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. Take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. And that knee will do it. So they snap the losing streak. Always a good feeling. Yeah, I don't know if this one right here when they're taking a knee is as much exultation as exhalation, right? They just breathe a sigh of relief. Finally got a win. Needed one desperately. throughout remember it was neck and neck at intermission neck and neck at the end but a great job to come in here in a tough environment charles and get the victory yeah tough environment indeed how about all the people can hear shouting from their seats right below us partner they weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field how about how these visitors came in caught every step of the way even with all the pressure and found a way to get out of here with a win so for detroit